There's a lot of myths out there, either from the internet or just people talking to me, that there is a cure for cancer that drug companies have in a closet and they don't want to give it out. Is that true? <laughs> I doubt that. Uh, the, there is a lot of research that is now going on, research that exists both from the government standpoint through the National Cancer Institute uh, as well as uh, through pharmaceutical companies and uh, cooperation. And uh, we uh, in uh, 2006 understand a lot of the biological processes of cancers a lot better than even just 10 years ago. And uh, in some circumstances, they've actually come up with drugs that are very specific for a particular form of cancer. Uh, people may have heard uh, the word Gleevec, which has been uh, which a drug that essentially revolutionized the treatment of one of the adult form of leukemia, which rarely occurs in kids. And how does that drug work? That drug actually works because there are two pieces of the genetic materials that come together to create essentially a new gene and that new gene is responsible for So you could call this that. a new type of gene therapy? It is to some degree. It's not directed against the gene, but it's directed against what the gene makes, which is a protein. And uh, uh, they, have, you know, they were able to come up in the laboratory to a mo with a small molecule that specifically inhibits that particular uh, uh, since, new protein. Since cancer is sort of like a protein, why can't we just immunize against the protein? Well, it's an interesting uh, question. Uh, the issue of uh, uh, immunity of, and cancer still remains a very open uh, question. We have antibodies that are actually specific for a certain um, form of cancer, and those actually have uh, created a new area of interest, uh, as we were talking about lymphomas. So that's, for instance, an area where uh, some antibodies are now frontline in terms of treating uh, non Hodgkin's lymphomas. Uh, but the ability to modulate the immune system of the individual who has cancer to fight cancer is still in its infancy today.